This is Cyclones 101, I'm Tom Crochelle. Iowa State College, mid-February 1917. When they weren't talking about when the United States would get into World War I, the town was buzzing about the Cyclone Wrestling Team's 32-7 route of Iowa, February 9th in State Gym. A crowd of more than 2,000 fans belied the admonitions of football and wrestling coach Charles Macer that school spirit was lagging. February 16th, Iowa State plays host to Iowa in men's basketball in State Gym. Iowa State basketball was striving to catch up with its rival. The Cyclone program didn't begin until 1908, playing games in the Ames Downtown Armory or in the Women's Gym in Margaret Hall until State Gym opened in 1913. Iowa won the first 10 games between the two schools. The fans, they were hanging from the rafters that day in State Gym. A crowd of at least 3,500 jammed every crevice of the building the largest crowd ever to see a basketball game in state history. The crowd was hungry for a victory, and it shoehorned its way into every available space, including the running track above the court. The top scores for both teams were doubtful for the game. Iowa State's Bill Page was nursing an abscess tooth, and Bannock of Iowa, no, that's Hawkeye Olympic gold medalist Ed Bannock. He's worked in the Iowa State Athletics Department for 32 years. I'm talking about Edwin Bannock, the Iowa basketball player. He was not expected to play as he had eligibility issues. In an account of the basketball game, the Iowa State alumnus reported, The spirit of the crowd has never been demonstrated at a basketball game before. As the Ames score grew, so did the noise and yelling of the spectators. It was impossible to hear the officials whistle and the doggedness of the Ames players increased to such a state that it was impossible for the Hawkeyes to even score. The Daily Iowan in Iowa City called the game a battle royale and a decisive Cyclone victory. As Iowa State rebounded from an early deficit and then rolled on to its first ever win over its interstate rival by a 24 to 12 margin. The Des Moines Register had this, the victory over Iowa was a great stimulus for Ames rooting, which has been on the way to staleness for several years. The rooters last night made more racket than was heard from the Ames stands even on the football field last fall, more than the Ames-Iowa football game. The financial gate from the game was $248.80. That's about $4,700 today. Iowa got a guarantee check of $56.07 to take back to Iowa City. But above the din of the euphoric school-wide celebrations over the wrestling and basketball victories, world events loomed over the Iowa State campus. The faculty, student body, and Ames community were cloaked in a fervor-like atmosphere, an inexorable red, white, and blue rush to volunteer and join the Allies in the greatest military conflagration in world history over there. Class dismissed.